All right, guys, Muskie Hunter Magazine Challenge. <laughs> Greg Thomas here. Hopefully, we get some fish to go today. Today's challenge is bass baits. We can only fish bass baits all day. So what is a bass bait? A bass bait is exactly <laughs> what I say it is. It's made specifically for catching bass. Smaller, under four inches in length, that's what we're going for and we're going to see what happens again as always it's a post cold front because it will never quit raining in kentucky so guys the rules are as always i can alter the bait but it must maintain the same characteristics that it's always had and remember it's one bait one lure one lake so i've got my cousin here with me today derek we're going to go out and see if we can't catch us a muskie on some bass baits Alright guys, been at it for a couple hours, throwing this little bass baits and stuff. And the main thing is, is when you're going to downsize like this, is you want to downsize your uh, equipment. You know, a lot of people say, well, just up the hook size. Well, the problem with a lot of bass baits, when you up the hook size, is you take away their action. So if you're using a small bait like this, it's a little KVD uh, 2.5. It's just a small bait. It's actually got some decent sized hooks on it. The main thing is, is you want to downsize your equipment. So I go to a spring leader made by Stealth Tackle. So a smaller leader, I also go to lighter line, 50 pound test, and a, a smaller rod. This is just a little bass rod made by St. Croix. This is a 7.3 uh, extra heavy in their bass series. So you just want to downsize what you're using and you'll be amazed what you can catch these fish on. So, and what we're doing is just kind of combing these flats um, little coves and uh, just trying to really cover water and find some active fish. So we're going to get back at it here and uh, yeah, hopefully the next time I talk to you, we're netting a fish. Okay guys, uh, we've casted about six hours, seven hours. I don't know, it's one of those days that the hours are kind of just running along and nothing. So what I said to do is set up and do some trolling with the bass baits. Um, what we're doing is just covering some of the shallow flats that got new weed growth on it. Just seeing if we can't pull, uh, pull some baits by uh, some fish. So we'll see what happens. Really wanted to get some fish casting, but uh, I don't know. There's a fish right there. Gotta go. Right there. Well, that worked out really nice. That's not a bad one. Still got him? Almost a challenge accomplished, and then there wasn't. So that's disappointing, but maybe that's what we got to do. So let's see how it goes. Let's 
challenge accomplished finally again not a big fish but you know what here's what we decided to do we troll or we cast it all day and let me get this out of the sun we cast it all day and we've trolled now for the last uh hour and 20 minutes we've had three bites uh lost one had another fish this way a little bit had another fish uh on that was about eight inches long but i was about ready to count it but it came off too and now we've got this one legal fish on a little four inch grandma again small baits guys uh one thing i'll show you when we start uh, going in more about these small baits is uh, downsizing and again not only your casting equipment but also your trolling equipment um, size of your leader your line uh, lighter rods and all that stuff really helps so we're gonna get this fish out of the net and show you but challenge accomplished thank you All right, guys, we just got that fish. Again, what we're doing is, Derek, hold me, hand me that rod there with a little bait on it. What we've done is I've went to a nine foot lighter action rod. I've went down to about 50 pound test on the braid. 50 pound braid is about the same pound as 12 pound mono, uh, using a little four inch grandma. Now these guys here, you don't want to change the hooks because they have a super tight wiggle anyway. I went to an 80 pound, actually a 60 pound leader uh, stealth leader and uh, yeah moving about three and a half miles an hour not real fast uh, again kind of a post cold front right now uh, i did warm up here in the afternoon but like i said we cast it all day and i think the reason why trolling and stuff has been effective is you know when you're trolling a bait stays at the same depth for a prolonged period of time when you're casting it only stays at certain depths for a short period of time um, when you're in tough bites and tough situations, trolling, especially small baits like this and, and this other small bass baits, if you can keep those baits in the, the same depth level for an extended period of time, I think it gives the fish a lot longer chance uh, to hone in on it and you can cover the structure a whole lot more. So we're gonna get these guys back out and see if we can't get another fish. giant by any means but probably a little push them 30 inches you know it'd be a nice little fish to catch but again the challenge was to use a bass bait and that dude there is on a two and a half inch bass crankbait trolling these flats you know doing that and getting these fish to go i'm gonna put her back all right see you dude that's a better fish Better fit. Better fit. Still got him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. All right. Better one now. Okay, let's see what we got here. Get another one on the little grandma. So again, small baits guys. They seem to be working. 
for us here. Yeah, he's just coiled up back here. He's not real happy. Are you getting anything on him? Not really. Okay. He's boiling back there a little bit. I don't know. That is a uh, catfish. No, that's a carp. You got a carp. You've caught a carp. Let's get this up here. That is a big, fat carp. Oh. No, it's a drum. A big sheephead. <laughs> we have a a nice sized sheephead. A little mutton's better than nothing. Let's try to get a muskie now. Okay guys, I just had to run to town real quick, but I wanted to do an ending to this uh, challenge we did today. The challenge was to catch a muskie on a bass bait, and you know what? It was a challenge that was completed. We got a couple fish to eat them, uh, tried casting all day, and it's just the casting bite was not happening. So the trolling bite ended up working, got uh, two fish there, lost a fish, and caught a, uh, you know, a bonus drum, which most people can't say that. So it was uh, all in all a good day. Hopefully you learned a few things, downsizing the equipment versus upsizing the uh, hardware on the bait. It really helps out when you're, when you're doing uh, the stuff with the, the bass baits. So guys, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also follow us on our social media sites. You know, follow us on uh, Facebook and on Instagram at Muskie Hunter Magazine. And guys, subscribe to Muskie Hunter. The uh, magazine is doing a lot of good things right now. So I will see you guys next week with another challenge. Not sure what it is yet. So you got to write in and tell me again what you want to see. And I will talk to you guys later. I got to get in the store.